Exploring material science of proteins. What purpose do proteins serve? Where is it commonly used? Proteins help repair and build your body's tissues. Your body's protein needs are dependent upon your health and activity level. Proteins allow for metabolic rate reactions to take place and help coordinate the bodily functions like digestion, digestion, energy production, blood clotting, and muscle contraction. These actions occur through enzymes like digestive enzymes. An example of these are lactase and sucrase, which allow for the digestions of sugar. Proteins are commonly used within food because it is an important part of having a healthy diet. Proteins are found in lean meats, poultry, fish, seafood, eggs, and dairy products. Some artificial proteins are even used for new vaccines and medicines. Polymer protein. Properties and structure. This material is important to my problem because school lunches have a lack of protein in the foods that they provide. Researching about protein could help share what it is and why it is important. Also, how it can be added to foods or find what foods have high concentrations of it. Proteins are colorless and usually tasteless. They range in a shape from a simple crystalloid spherical structure to long fibrical structures. The diffusion rate is extremely slow because of its large size. Protein solubility are influenced by their pH level. Proteins are made up of a chain of amino acids and the state of matter at a normal temperature is a solid. Why are the properties of proteins useful? The properties of proteins are useful because they contain amino acids. Amino acids are seen as the building blocks of protein and are needed for processes like hormones and neurotransmitters. To function and grow properly, your body needs 20 different amino acids, and some of these can only be achieved by having a healthy diet. After the body consumes protein, it breaks down into amino acids so it can be used for a variety of important functions. Some of these functions are muscle building and regulating immune function. Many amino acids are imperative during the healing process from something like an injury or during pregnancy. The colorless and tastelessness of proteins are helpful when consuming artificial proteins so the flavor of the substance at hand won't alter. The structure of proteins. Primary protein structure, a sequence of a chain of amino acids. The secondary structure of proteins are hydrogen bonding, the peptide backbone, which causes the amino acid to fold into a repeating pattern. The tertiary structure is a three-dimensional folding structure of a protein because of its chain interactions. And the quantitary structure of a protein is consisting of more than one chain of amino acids. The types of bonding. Some important bonds in a protein structure are peptide bonds, ionic bonds, disulfide bonds, hydrogen bonds, and hydrophobic phobic interactions. Some elements in proteins are the 20 amino acids, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and sulfur. Proteins are about three to six nanometers in diameter. Molarity, polarity, and the intermolecular forces in proteins. The average molar mass of proteins is 46,429.8 grams per mole. The polarity of amino acids affect the overall structure of proteins. Overall, proteins are nonpolar molecules, though there are six amino acids with side chains that are polar but are not charged. There are secondary structures that consist of a sequence of amino acids and intermolecular forces and covalent bonds that form between amino acid backbone components. Some of these intermolecular forces include hydrogen bonding, van der Waals forces, and dipple-dipple interactions. And here is my work cited.